Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manta IV here coming to you live with a prophecy from the big boss. Uh, I was speaking about the lockdown is going to end soon. It will soon end. This is thus saith the Lord. I'm feeling a very strong prophetic thrust right now. So this is going to be part two of that prophecy. A few things I'm going to share, uh, which are very strong, that uh, we need to understand heaven's position on this. I said this and I'll say it again. Heaven is going to crush this uh, corona virus epidemic, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. I read today where President Trump is livid. He's furious about the whole thing. It's a big attack. It's a big distraction. He knows that. And we know that, too. This thing was con concocted. It was planned. It's a pandemic. It's not a pandemic. And it's very pathetic. And it's in no means prophetic or meaningful in any way, uh, except from the pits of hell to try to break the economy. You know, people are starving. You know, I found statistics from somebody who was saying that... Uh, uh, millions of people are, 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 are starving today in many nations of the world. You don't hear about it in the media. They won't tell you about it. Um, it's really sad. People are losing their businesses. Companies are shutting down. This is not good. Nothing good about it. I posted something. Uh, it had a little boogeyman. Someone made a joke. A boogeyman coming out of the manhole looking up going, Ugh. And this lady sitting in the car all by herself with a face mask and all that, all of, who's there? And I just saw some Chinese people. And they got gloves on, a big, long spray bottle, huge industrial-sized spray bottle. I guess they mix their own concoction and they uh, walk around with it in their hand. And they got the big mask, the hat, hoodie covered up, tied up. You know, you know what I what came to me is they know more than anybody what this is. They know how serious this thing is. Most people don't walk around to that dimension. Then I saw a guy standing in the road and he didn't have his mask on for a minute, standing outside his business, and some security lady's walking by and she starts shouting at him like this, uh, 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 making this gesture and noise in the language. We never said there wasn't a virus. It has hit a lot of people. I know firsthand. It's hit a lot of people. But we whip it, we shrug it off, we kill it. Hydro, hydroxychloroquine is phenomenal. And all the vitamins, as I've been saying, you know, D, A, E, zinc, C, and mass doses to get yourself. I, I took so much today, myself, in a, in a fizzy concoction that I make of vitamins. It went right through me, if you know what I mean. I had a problem. I took too much magnesium, C, or whatever. I got to cut back a little bit on it. Ooh. Uh, I feel great, though. Man, I've lost weight. I'm dieting. I'm prayer and prayer around the clock. It's a great time to be alive. We're going up, not down. But the devil meant this all for evil. And let me say again, this pandemic, pathetic pandemic, is being crushed by heaven. And I, as his prophet, me, Thomas Manton IV, as his prophet, I'm speaking that right now. On Tuesday, today's uh, Friday, on Tuesday evening, I think, yeah, it was Tuesday evening, because I did, uh, it's time, it's, it, it, the time is now for you to rise up in Victory Volumes 3 and 4 on Wednesday and Thursday, and today's Friday, the third day after that. On Tuesday, the power of God was upon me, and I released this prophetic word that heaven is crushing this thing, and this lockdown will end. Do you know the very next day shops started to open? I did not know that. I tell you before, Almighty God, I had read nothing, heard nothing, seen nothing that this was possible, that things would start to open. And you could feel the vibration of the normalcy. Now, I'm in another country, but people are getting stirred up. They've had enough. That old man, 77-year-old man that closed his barbershop, they got a, he got a court order to open it. These evil dictator, Nazi-like, buffoon-possessed. I have a new thing on my Facebook that this is my creation. I call it the buffoon alert. Let me make a, 
I should make a news program, the buffoon alert. It's not very positive. I don't know if I should say it like that. But, but I post them like that, you know, when I see a buffoon in action. Like this one in Chicago, this, la- this lady. In- Why is it women these days? What kind of Jezebels are these? A woman in Chicago, light, light head, I call her. And uh, that's not her name. But And then uh, this evil, rambunctious, vicious, vile, vitriol, spewing woman in Michigan. Is it Michigan? Not Missouri. It's Michigan, yeah. Terrible. California. Oh, my. New York. Whoa. But even God had to make Cuomo to save people's lives. Cuomo, that guy Cuomo, God had to make him understand that hydroxychloroquine is good. But President Trump said that before, a while back, but they don't want to hear it. But I prophesy right now, I feel the anointing. The reason I've come on here to say all these things, but to say this... uh, as a headline point, the Lord is breaking this lockdown. You're not going to be locked down. Now, I said this months ago. You remember the prophecy that God said this thing is not going to be long, but then the warfare came. He warned me about the warfare that was coming. And then we began to see more about how this whole thing was planned. So it was supposed to end like by April, but then they, they, they put it into all of May. And they're trying to go June, and they want to go further, but they will not be able to. We're canceling that. We're rebuking that in Jesus' name. So there's warfare to hold it up. Then we see the rise of the machines, the rise of the aliens, the rise of these evil democratic politicians, and people in other nations following suit, don't know what to do, have to make lockdowns. And then they have debates going on. One of my precious uh, uh, staff in, in, in South Africa uh, they, they're having arguments with doctor, uh, some doctor kind of person is manifesting over like, you know, defending the virus and the lockdown and the quarantine. What is wrong with you? So I told them, hey, exit that situation. Exit, exit, exit. Don't, don't prolong it. Some people's deliverance may not be your assignment. Sometimes the devil's just trying to trip you up. If the power of God comes on you, you can speak to someone, get them delivered, fine. But if not, psh- Exit. What does Mike Murdoch say? The great old statement, Dr. Mike Murdoch. When in the presence of a fool, don't always try to impart, depart. Some people you can't help because they're all mixed up and made up in their head. And you don't have time to waste. In our life, we don't have time to waste. To argue with people. People being forced to wear a mask. I beg to differ. You want to wear one? Again, it's a voluntary life. You want to wear one? You wear one. You know, when you're touching the surfaces of things, I was in the shops, I was just in the mall today, and I was going around, and I was touching a lot of things, you know, I was shopping, and and then after that, I had my sanitizer, just, just in case, just in case, it's good to have it, no problem, you know, you just do that, <laughs> I have a little bottle of it here in my, well, my mobile office here, not a big spray bottle, like this Chinese guy was walking around with, he looked like an alien, all thinged up, head covered, gloves, like he's uh, with his spray bottle. Getting out of a tiny little car. But they're small people, right? And then his woman was in the back and she's small and they're like, wah, 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 walking. but they know. They know the depths of this thing. They know the horror of this thing. In their mind, inside them, they know. Because it came from there. And this woman in America trying to make it a crime some offense or whatever, to say that it came from China. These people are standing up for the devil. They are the Antichrist. It's, again, it's another woman. One of the women that tried running for president. Ha, 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 ha. Bad joke. Canceled over and out. Didn't take long. They threw the hat. It wasn't Pocahontas. It was the other one. That other one. Strange fire. Strange people. Not even strange fire. Strange fire was in the Bible, but there were some people that were, I don't know if they meant well or they were evil totally, but they were trying to do something. But these people are not even acting like they're on the side of, in the things of God. They're totally on the other side. What a pathetic mess. It's from the devil, folks. So you rise up and get ready to open your business. I prophesy you'll prosper in your business. I'm your pastor now. I'm your prophet. Not, not everybody that's watching this is going wide to a lot of people, but a lot of people are my partners and my members and my covenant people. I'm your mentor. I'm your coach. I'm your, your doctor. I'm your 
prophet. I'm your pastor. I'm your prayer warrior. I'm your intercessor. I'm praying for you. You're going to prosper in your business. Be encouraged. Get up and move. I'm playing this song here. I really love it. It's, it's kind of loud. I'm going to try to put it on for a minute. But, uh, wow. It talks about the one who's on the throne, Jehovah God. He is and is to come and was and is and is to come. He's not lost his position. Blessing and glory and honor forever. He's not lost that position. We've not lost our position. In fact, we're getting stronger, not weaker. Can you feel the anointing here? The anointing, the power of God is flowing here. Receive the fire right now. There it is. Take it, take it. You need a supernatural injection, not a vaccine, a Holy Ghost. <laughs> Holy Ghost adrenaline, Holy Ghost infusion, an impartation of the glory. Shatara Bahaya. Receive it in Jesus' name. Just came on here to say that. Heaven is crushing this COVID-19 mess. It was supposed to come and go it, like it came and went. And pres I love what President Trump said. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, this is so good. I love what President Trump said. He said, uh, uh, they say that they're gonna, it's gonna, something else is going to come in the fall. Can you imagine that? And people like, oh, scared, thinking, oh, God, oh, God, what kind of world are we in? But why do you talk like that? It's from hell. So the devil announces what he wants to do in another attack, and you go, oh, that's how it is? We rebuke it in Jesus' name. That's not how it is. The country will not be shut down again, and the nations will not be shut down again, and the businesses will not be shut down again. They will not. We forbid it in Jesus' name. We are the church of the living God. And this is an attack against the church. My friend, a good friend of mine, Brother Edwin, he was a great, great, well-known uh, saxophonist, and he plays the clarinet and the saxophone under such great anointing. He's my dear personal friend for many years, and uh, man of God. And he plays his instrument. And now there are people even trying to say that, oh, that blows like droplets of, of, of things that could spread a virus. He doesn't have that virus. He has the Holy Ghost. This foolishness. So let's get back to normal. I prophesied, and I know that my, these words, are, God's anointed me, and they're, they're going to come reverberating out from today in new ways oh yes it's going to be going like that like waves of glory across the earth and across the nations to get rid of this thing and it's being it's being made to be gone this lockdown will soon end watch every day things are opening up from tuesday again now i said this thing will not be allowed to be able to be long but it was extended because of the warfare but now, uh, it's ending. It's ending. Listen to me. I'm telling you, I'm making a heavens, a heavens, is bro, heavens broadcast news right here. It's ending. It is ending, and everything will go back to normal. Was there a virus? Yeah. Was there H A H N H one N one flu that killed millions of people? Yeah. Was there MERS and SARS and? Uh, other plagues that came before, but there was no none of this. They're, they're trying to stop uh, the good that's going on in the world. It's the evil order trying to raise up to destroy. They wanted America to be shut down. They wanted the economies of the world. They wanted you to die. It's from the devil. Now, you rise up in prayer and agree with me. I'm going here, but I'll come back again with more on this. Uh, you rise up with me and let's be praying. All right? That the Lord himself, the Lord himself will be uh, glorified in our, in our worship. Man, the, sun, the sunlight is going. Ooh. Does that help? No. Whew. Too bright. The sunlight is going. Anyway. But the light of God is coming in greater ways. 
I'm going to set this place up with the lighting, this thing with the lighting. So anytime I get like this, when the sun is going, I can continue. I'm doing all of that. Let me announce. Uh, we're doing all of that. We're making our studios. We're making our new things. We're going to have the best quality everything. So partner with us in the world mission. And the Lord bless you. I have a great book, The Benefits of Excellence. I'll be glad to send you a, an e-copy an e of that, an e-book of that, uh, by, even by WhatsApp or email. So write me when you're sowing seed. You can uh, get a copy of that. Love you much. The information will be on the screen. Thomas Manton IV here saying, this lockdown will soon end. This is the part two of this message. I'm going to continue. This is ending. It's being broken in Jesus' name. Stand with us. And I'm standing in the gap for you in Jesus' name. For the whole world to be free from this evil thing in Jesus' name. Love you much.